wish people actually knew what we do here. All the work that goes into building sets and stuff, like. It's like, we just put months of work into that, you know. Poof, there's a set. People really don't realize. It's not as simple as that. I wish they could see what actually goes on behind the scenes. Wish they could see what we go through to make everything what it looks like when the show goes on. Lupe fiasco. <laughs> I mean, everybody takes it as an easy A. Um, people don't really know what goes into it as far as like how hard we work and I mean, I'm sure you can find some of my blood on that stage. I put a lot into this. I kind of wish that they understood that this is something that's really cool to be a part of. Because I feel like a lot of people view it as just like this weird group of people. But it's so fun and it makes you feel like you're actually like a part of something and doing something important. Just the general lack of recognition is kind of frustrating. But just the amount of work that goes into it, I think, is important for people to know. People spend so much time in the tech program and in the drama program. It's such a dedication. From lighting to backstage carpentry, even, even on stage, like when actual productions are going on, people really don't realize how much effort the crew puts in. And it'd be really great if people could see that it's not just the actors going on stage and poof, there's a set and, oh wow, that was a cool effect. Cause it's not just, it's not as simple as that. I'm a carpenter here at Wake Forest High School, the tech theater department. Uh, we build sets, you know, make sure it's safe, fun, happy, make sure everyone loves it. <laughs> this recording. I'm one of the heads of paint crew. So I paint and I lead a crew of painters. I uh, paint stuff, sets, promo signs, murals, whatever they tell me to paint. Props. Yeah, we're the prop people. Well, <laughs> make props. <laughs> <laughs> like all the stuff on stage that's like objects or decorations or, you know, stuff like that. We do all that. I'm the sound engineer. Uh, well, I'm a painter and I do a run crew. It's just about like making sure that the show goes on smoothly and transitions between scenes go on smoothly, the set comes on and off as it should, and <clears throat> it's all really fast, so. Uh, I'm the technical theater teacher. My job is to teach the basics of tech. So everything that we do on stage behind the scenes, would be building the scenery, be doing lighting, sound, paint, props, I teach the basics in Tech 1 and then Advanced Tech. Uh, we get more into the details of an actual production. I'm the co-lead of Paint, and I stage manage some shows, not all, because that's a lot of work. Um, I call the cues from the booth, and I have to like do all the calling of places and basically be in charge. I do lighting design and just lighting in general. During shows, it's usually me and a few other people are up in our control booth, just troubleshooting and changing the show as it goes during rehearsals to hopefully build up to it being as close to perfect as possible for the final show. But there will always be issues. The biggest problem is, I'd say, just... The biggest problem? I think time is an issue, um, just because we, we only get an hour and a half and... A couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> So I guess we just kind of do a lot of work outside of school. <laughs> I mean, there are always the slackers. <laughs> I know a lot of people have said money, but with my job, really being a stage manager, if people slack and they don't do their job, it makes it harder for you to do your job. Just like lack of funding sometimes gets in the way. But um, that's actually something that I, I like about our drama program, that we have to work around stuff like that, because I think that it's super challenging and that when we can, you know, find a different solution and we don't like buy a lot of things, we, we pretty much have to build everything and it, it gets really challenging, but it's more rewarding, I think. I think that's where we're, in, we're unique is we aren't held back by restrictions. The only thing that we might be restricted by a little bit would be budget, but that's me as the boss. I'm the one that says, no, we're not going over that budget. You can't say, all right, we're just gonna go on limited money, and then the thing doesn't work out well, or whatever the case is, now you don't have any money for the next show. But I don't think there's any restraints. I, I, I think whatever you guys come up with, or whatever you wanna do, 
I think that's part of the uniqueness of the class. All right, cool. I've never tried that before. Let's try it. How are we going to do it? I don't know. Let's bring these brains together and say, this is what we want to do. Uh, what do I get from this class that I don't from others? It's stuff needs to be done on the spot, so it kind of gives you that leadership skills you just don't get taught anywhere else. Whatever industry you end up going in, it's super helpful in just like knowing what a real strict deadline means and knowing what it's like to collaborate with other people and, and use different talents to work towards um, something bigger than yourself. I think it's hands-on application of what they're learning in every other class. It's not just a bunch of students like, hey, we're going to do a show. It's, uh, it's practical applications of everyday life skills. Whether they know it or not, they're using math every day. And sometimes they're going to be shorthanded, so it means coming up with something that you have to wire up on your own. So then it becomes an engineering problem. I turn on the computers, <laughs> and then I start up the program, and then you can run the program from the other laptop, and it controls the monitors. This class gives me the opportunity to find out what I want to do and work on things that I want to work on. Yeah, you kind of feel like you're actually accomplishing something and learning things that are more useful. Practical knowledge, um, a lot of hands-on experience that you don't get from a lot of classes. In a lot of other classes, you're sitting behind a desk and writing on some paper. But I think this class has taught me how to really work as a team because if someone doesn't pull their weight, then the show could fall apart. You've got leadership skills that they wouldn't normally get in another class. You actually have a crew in a working environment. There may be an issue with a certain amount of paint not being there or a construction technique that's not going to happen. To solve that problem as a crew lead, then translate that to the crew to make sure that the problem is solved there. Um, it's like, it's a lot about responsibility, I think, and like making sure that everybody's doing their part and everybody's working together. It's super collaborative and that big of like <clears throat> a team, you have to make sure that everybody is doing their part and there's no discourse because you're all moving towards one common thing. English is another one. When you read the script, you have to be able to read the script and interpret the script. It's not just reading the script for what it is. You have to read it for what kind of sound cues are there. It's not just a doorbell ringing, but if it takes place in the morning, are the birds chirping in the background? Uh, it's problem solving, dealing with personalities, dealing with personal issues, dealing with work issues. Gosh, I'm sure I could go on, but I'm not thinking of it. I would absolutely recommend this class to others. Yes, of course. Absolutely. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> I would recommend this class to everyone on planet Earth. Of course. I yes. have. <laughs> yes, many times. No, no, absolutely not. No, um, yeah. I would recommend this class to other people because it's genuinely fun and I enjoy it. Yeah, not everybody because a lot of people can't handle it, but some for sure. I recommend it. I recommend this class. I think it's a fun class. The big one that I want to get across to whoever would be watching is the fact that I'm just a guide. It's the students that actually want to be here, that actually want to run these shows, that actually want to build these shows, and actually invest their own personal time. Nobody gets a credit to be here after school. That's all volunteered. Um, I enjoy bragging about that. I enjoy saying I've got 43 people. 35 of which are very dedicated to what we do. So you know, you've got 35 teenagers that will show up after school if I ask them to, and, and no question, you know. You're here because you want to be here, and that's how it should be. It's not just my room, it's not just my place, my classroom. It's also your room as the students. This is your place. In a figurative sense, this should be a second home to those that are committed to it.